Let's pick up from where we left in the previous demo, where Alex submitted the challenge. David, who is the sponsor, approved it, and same was made available to the solvers. Let's elaborate activity 2, collaborate with solvers. During this activity, seeker team, Alex and David, would primarily be in standby mode, and would monitor the progress, and take corrective actions if required. Duration-wise, this activity is typically the longest, as a lot is happening on the solver side. You can refer the solver demos, to understand more about the solving process. So let's go to the Seeker dashboard for David. Here in this view, David sees all the challenges he is involved. David can quickly change the view to see where his action is required, or check out what changed since he last signed in. David can access more details about the challenge and the schedule status using the view link. Let's close this and look at the dashboard a little more closely. For each challenge, apart from the basic information, David can, in real time, see the current stage the challenge is in, and the time left for the same. David can also check out, how many solvers have volunteered, to solve the challenge, new solvers since he last signed in. And most importantly number of active solvers, who have started solving the challenge. Solver information could also be used by seekers to promote the challenge, if found, not in line with the expectations. That completes the demo for Activity 2, where we saw how Seeker collaborates with the solvers, and monitors the progress of his challenges. Next, we recommend you watch the demo for Activity 3, Reward the Positive Outcome. Thank you for watching.